baffles me how a father hates his own child this much. Donald. Is she not worth the hate? Really? Look, Vera, I'm not cut out for this argument this morning. I have an appointment to catch up with. And as for your daughter, you can take her to school. My daughter? I don't, yes, I don't have a space in my car for her. Mommy, don't worry. I can find my way to school. And as for daddy, let's see how that car will take him to the office. And what's that supposed to mean? You must not respond to everything she says. Blessing is just a child. I don't have time for both of you. Why does he hate me so much? No, darling. Daddy does not hate you. He loves you so much. Don't say that again, okay? Okay. You know what? Mommy will take you to school. Is that okay? Yeah, okay, let's go. excitement on your face today, I don't understand. Oh, you know what? Tell me. Words can't even express how I'm feeling right now. Eh? Yes, yeah, so. How are you feeling? Remember the last time I came? Yes. Blessing called me mommy baby. Blessing me king. You know how long mounted that girl can be? Please don't take it to her. Forgive her. Please, 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 please. Mm. Of that, I beg. I think mm. you have a prophetess in your house. She's a How do you mean? Hmm. Okay, oh. About five days ago, I was feeling sick. Mm -hmm. So, my husband insisted I go for test. Okay. But reluctantly, I said, no, I am not going home. He called for the family doctor to come. Then he came. He took blood sample. Mm -hmm. He left. Uh -huh. And then came back. <laughs> <laughs> Be fast now. I just hope it's what I am waiting to hear. Uh -huh. Like, and then, and then, what again? I <laughs> am <you> pregnant. <laughs> oh my god. What? Oh, happy. This is like the best news of a century. Huh. Jesus. Jesus. 
I was confused. And I said, ah, ah, is this possible? So I carry this my two two legs. Yes. And go to another lab to go and confirm. To be sure. To be sure. Okay, okay. Then. And then. And then. And then again. <laughs> the doctor said, yeah. I'm You're pregnant! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> I'm so happy after for you. I'm so happy for you. Yeah. Congratulations, my friend. Thank you. Okay. In this case, yeah. you know you requested for a bottle of whiskey? Yes. At this point. Yes. Yeah. You will drink juice. You can't take whiskey, my darling. So I'll go inside and get you juice. Juice key you get. Go on. Juice key you get. <laughs> How would work be when what your daughter said came to pass exactly? I took off to work. A car that was in perfect condition on the road automatically. Suddenly it started jacking. I pulled over, stepped down, opened the bonnet to investigate what could be the problem. Everything was perfect in my sight. On the car? No, it wouldn't come on. Frustrated me called the mechanic. His numbers were unreachable. I jumped the taxi, went to work. Coming back from work, I came with the mechanic to the car. He said I should give him the car keys I gave him. He put it in the car. The car came on. <laughs> So what has that got to do with our daughter? Are you having amnesia or selective amnesia? Did you hear in the morning when she said categorically in explicit words, I will not get to work with the car. And I did not get to work with the car. Donald, the problem is you keep taking this girl seriously, forgetting that she's just a child. A child whose words come to pass. Okay, fine. Sorry about the stress. And thank God that the car started anyways. Mm. Now, please, go freshen up while I go fix dinner. Sorry. Vera? Yes? This is my new wife and my sweetheart. <laughs> this is Vera and her daughter. You're welcome. Uh, welcome. Thank you. Let me take your bags. Hey, don't come an inch. Go back. I do not want to see you anywhere close to my wife. Do you understand that? Wife. Honey, don't mind this little <laughs> breath. Let me take you to your room. She's three months gone. Three. One, two, three. Months gone. And daddy meant her two months ago. Blessing, how did you know that? Ooh. The pregnancy isn't for daddy. Um, Blessing, you're beginning to scare me right now. How am I scaring you? But you are. You're an adult. You scare me with the things you say. How can you say that? How did you know all of this? Come on, let's go to the As kitchen. I said. It's enough. Don't say no more. Oh, 
Ya me caí. Yo soy el pepino. Hey. What do you want? Just wondering why you left James. A promising banker. And you're trying to pin his pregnancy onto a married woman. Shut up! What are you talking about? Who told you? My dad is not a very good person. You will soon see what my mom is saying. You are a gold dog. <gasps> you stole my mother's chain. Return it to her or I shall explode. <laughs> You're evil! You are evil! Get away from me! How did she know about the pregnancy? How is she able to find out about James and I? No, she's a witch. That girl is evil! And I need to do something about it. No, 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 no. I need to do something about it. Okay, I know what to do. We shall see. I have told you. Blessing is a bag of trouble. I have seen that already, and she's bowed mouthed. I think there's more to her than you know. That girl knows too much for her age. How do you mean? <laughs> um, it's nothing. I feel she, she knows too much then and it baffles me. <laughs> exactly. She does know too much. And that's the reason why you need to avoid her. Well, that's by the way. I'll be needing some money for my auntie Neta tomorrow. I'd like to go with you to to Antinental no, tomorrow. No, 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 baby, you don't have to worry. I don't want you to, to go there and start waiting like a pregnant woman. You know how long the queue is. So yeah. in subsequent times, we can go together. For hmm? real? Of course. Deal. <laughs> so here. your baby is going so fast. I missed you. <laughs> I miss you too. You know, you coming into my life just was the best thing and the best moment. You're going to make me a proud father of your son. <laughs> of course, though, son. <laughs> I can't wait to have a boy in his yeah. house. Like, like men, you know, mm -hmm. like an African. That's what I'm here for you, to like give you a son. <laughs> Thank you. Are you okay? I'm not okay. I can never be okay in this house. What happened? This daughter of yours has mystic powers. What are you talking about exactly? Can you imagine? 
I was sitting here watching TV, okay. waiting for my program to get started, and then she walked in, and immediately the TV went off and on. I thought it was normal at first, and then it went off and on again, and off again. I took the remote and tried to power it. It refused coming on. Stop playing. I'm not joking. But well, I've been greeting you. Good evening. Would you shut that your evil mouth? I forbid you, Donald, from calling our daughter evil. I forbid you for calling her my daughter. Let me, let me give you an education, a little bit of my family background. Back to the seventh generation. There's never been a female child as first. It's always been male. Why is my case different? What are you not telling me? This is definitely not my child. Donald, mark to thee. Mark to thee. I will never forgive you. I would For never. saying this to me in the I presence of a total stranger. And I would never ask you for a forgiveness. Baby, let's go. You're going nowhere. From today henceforth, you and this thing, you're going to check into the big here. You will no longer stay in the main house with us. But study why? Because you're a witch and it's dangerous living under the same roof with you. Honey, you need to rent an apartment outside this house for these people. This witch might hurt you, You son. lie, Donald. Read my lips, you lie. My daughter and I are going nowhere. If your mistress does not feel safe here, you can rent her an apartment. You can even move out with her at this point, I don't care. This is my matrimonial home. I won't have some mistress from nowhere come and chase me out. It's not happening. <laughs> Baby, let's go. Honey, are you just going to stand here and do nothing? These people are evil. They might hurt our son. Hey, sugar. Calm down. No, they need to leave this house. I'm still in charge. Calm down. I'll handle them my way. Right? I'll walk it out. Come, let's go. To leave this house for the safety of our son. Right, they, will. they will. They don't have a choice. It can't be true. Probably it's just pulling your legs. <laughs> I wish, but I can assure you, Donald is not pulling my legs. He's dead serious. Maybe I should just move out with my daughter and give them space. God forbid. Vera, God forbid. You will not do such thing. Look, listen to me. It is time for you to fight. It is not time for you to be weak. You have to be strong. And not just physical fight. You have to be diplomatic about your fight. Else, that girl will take your home from you. You have to be strong. Come on, Vera. Should I know you're a brave woman? And it is time for you to exhibit it. Trust me. Thank you. <gasps> but one thing, it baffles me. And what could that be? Blessing. Blessing. What about blessing? First, she already knows about a pregnant lady saying she overheard Donald and I talk about it. Which I know that that is not even true because we spoke in a very low tone. And there is no way she could have heard us from our room. Secondly, she assured me not to worry that the pregnant lady will go back the same way she comes. So? What's wrong with that? Everything is wrong. I mean, Blessing think way older than her age. Everything about her is just weird. <laughs> Vera, you have a special child. And you should count yourself lucky to have that girl in your home. Yes. Indeed. Come on. Now let's go. I think it would be better. We'll talk better when we get to where we're going to. Don't tell me that. We're leaving. You have nothing to worry about, my dear friend. Oh, 
no, no, take, take it easy, take it easy. Honey, mm. you need to call your office and tell them about your hand. You can't <laughs> go to work like this. I wish I could do that, you know. The thing is, my, I'm actually representing... I'm representing my boss in a meeting. And he's out of the country. There's no other person that can do that apart from me. You know. Did you lift something heavy with this your hand? Oh, what would I lift? I might do a liberal work. I think, I think is um, I had a face of, this is what I could remember. I had an altercation with Vera. I could remember I pushed her. And immediately I pushed her, I felt a tiny pain. It was sharp, but tiny. Here. Say no more. But this morning it has gotten worse. Like, all this finger from here down to my ankle, inside the marrow is really painful, excruciatingly painful. Say no more. You have to believe me. Okay. That woman and her child, they are evil. They are fetish. They must have done something to, 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 to you that has resorted to this, so... Are you you need to do the needful. Are you serious? This is painful. Just, just, Take just imagine. Sorry, easy, easy, easy. I'm not even pressing it and you are shouting. You need to do the needful, oh. No, 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 please. Before those people kill you for me. Let me manage this and go to work, okay? When I come back, all right? Please. <laughs> Sometimes it's the best tool in solving some issues like this. You can't sit and, and keep watching a lady come from nowhere to take over your home. Home that you've built for years with so much effort. But fighting won't solve the problem either. Oh, Vera. It won't. Vera, you have to fight before things get worse. You have no right to bring in visitors to my house. You even went ahead to sell my expensive wine to your stupid friend, eh? Are you mad? How dare you insult me? You slapped me in my husband's house? How dare you? And I will beat you. Over and over again, you're very stupid. Can you imagine? So, you invited your friend to come and fight me. You are still talking. Eh? You are still talking. You are still talking. Look at her. Stupid girl. Oh, oh my god. This is your home. You have to take charge. Sit and fasten your seabed. You won't allow a low class, a hookup girl from nowhere to come and take over your home. Either with this now, don't know how to finally throw us out. Vera, you won't give him that room. Okay? You won't give him that room. Come on, this is your home. Oh, God. Brother. I understand you need a male child. But it's totally wrong for you to maltreat your wife and your daughter just because of a side chick. Point of correction. Jane is not a side chick. I'm going to officially get married to her once she puts to bed. What if she gives birth to a female child? God forbid it. Oh, you've not thought about that. Let me ask you. Why are you acting and reasoning like, like I don't even understand? What is all this about a male child? A male child is necessary for the longevity of a lineage. Women don't get women pregnant. I'm the only son. I know. Good. Don't rush into what you regret in the future. 
You and your wife are strong and medically sound. Give her some time. She will conceive. I do not have time. I'm almost 10 years gone in marriage. After our first child, up till now, there is no sign of pregnancy. No sign of missing her period. I should just be counting days, Abby. I'm the only son. Time is going. And you're telling me to have patience. Till when? I've tried. And the evil child she gave birth to is just... Hey, please. Don't call her an evil child. I don't like it, brother. Why are you doing this now? He who wears the shoes knows where he pitches. You might not know every part of the story. No, you don't have an idea. But then, it's my problem. <laughs> and I'll fix it. You're walking in a path of destruction. I pray you fix this in time and amend your ways. I think we need to head out. I'm very, very hungry. <laughs> Let me fix you something. No, let me go and get it myself. This is my house. <laughs> um, okay, fix yourself. Ah, oh. better be a boy. Yeah, I can't wait to have my boy. I've told you to calm down. Huh? Calm down. I'll handle this. My way. I will. I don't know why you're agitated. I can't stay in this same house with them. They might hold me and your baby when you're not around. They have to go. <sighs> have you gone to scan to know the gender of the baby you're carrying? <laughs> it's not your time to ascertain the gender of the child. Besides, why are you so anxious to know the gender of the child? I hate suspense. I like to know what I'm expecting. I like to know what I am fighting for. And for the records, it had better be a boy. <laughs> of course, you know he's a boy, of course. Okay, so, do, is my, my breakfast ready? Yeah, of course it's ready. Uh, well, No, we can't do this. No, we can't do that. Okay, sir, like um when I get to the office, I'll just call you back. Alright, thank you, sir. Good morning, honey. Good morning. What is it? Um lessons, proprietor, dropped a note, demanding for our school fees. That's what every good businesswoman should do. And what do I have to do with that? Look, Vera, I don't have any money, spare cash or to spend on frivolities. All right? Uh, she's your daughter. You can as well pay for school fees. Don't do this to us, Donald. You and I know that I do not have money. You stopped me from working. I use my life savings to support you when you are building this house. Go ahead. You placed me on a salary, monthly salary, which you have not paid me for the past one year. I've been managing, taking care of Blessing and myself, saying to stop catering for us. Do not, please. Rub it on me. Blackmail me all you can, look. Sing to the high heavens and low. I do not have any money for this child of yours. Do not, don't do this to us. Don't do us. It's not fair. Is that? Mommy, don't worry. Daddy will lose his job <laughs> with no settlements so that you will understand how he feels to be jobless. Hey, shut up. Your mouth, no, 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 no. 
You see, you look at the witch you have here, called the child. You have always have negative energies releasing. This is a child. A bad child. See, look, stop these crocodile tears. It wouldn't help. Go get a job. Go, please. Run along. James, listen, I owe you no explanation. You must, you must be very stupid to ask me such stupid question. <laughs> In your wildest dream, you think I will keep a baby for a poor boy like you? Hell no! <laughs> I have long aborted the pregnancy. James, I know. Dating you was a mistake, which I have corrected. So stay away from me. Leave me alone now. The moment I drop this call, I am going to block this number. And if you call me with another number, I will still block you. No sense. My dear friend, the truth is, what does it kill you makes you strong and wiser? I just need you to be positive about the recent happenings. You know what? You send me your CV so you can get a good job. At least pick the pieces of your life again. Mm. Who would have thought that the one out could do this to my daughter and I? Mm. But it's all good. Yeah. I'll rise again. Sure. I believe that I will rise again. Frida, you've been so supportive. Thank you. <laughs> you don't need to thank me. You're always welcome, my dear friend. <laughs> you know what? You need to be strong. You need to be strong for blessing. You need to be strong for yourself. And for me too, for all of us. Okay? And for blessings, Griffiths, I will take care of it. Oh, I'll no. send you some money later today. Are you serious? Yes. What about that? How do I pay you back for all the support, <laughs> Frida? This is too much now. How you can pay me back okay. is when you get a good job, okay? So are you borrowing me? <laughs> Just get a good job first. Thank you, thank you, Frida. You're thank always you so welcome. Much. Thank mm? you. Come on, this is my girl. Put a smile on that face. Vera! Blessing! Donald, what is it? Now why are you looking like this? Baby. <coughs> What's the problem? The question should be, what shouldn't be the problem? <laughs> You're asking me questions, right? Should I answer you? <laughs> this thing you have here has ruined my world. Donald, stop referring to our daughter as a thing. She's a human <laughs> being. <laughs> if there is any other word more derogatory I will use to qualify her, in what way did I offend you? Hmm? This morning, when I was going to work, she told me in clear terms, you will lose your job without settlement. Oh no, good news. <laughs> I got a sack letter without settlement. Hey! 
Hey! Mm. I said it. Mm -hmm. This girl is a witch. They need she to leave this house. She is a wizard. You they need lie. to leave this house. You lie. My daughter and I are going nowhere. If there's anybody living in this house with you, because ever since you came to, into this house, everything has gone bad. Witch! You are the witch! Witch! You leave the house! 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 Hey, shh! What? If I hear any other word from you, I will. Don't touch my mother. I have some explanations to do, honestly. I can't believe that that child is my child. <laughs> no, it's not possible. No, my family must say this. Me to leave you. <laughs> so, sweetheart, look. There is a new plan. Okay. And we have to work together as a team. Yes. Right? Yes. So, this is my thought. You go out there, you tell them that I said that they should pack their belongings and get out of this house. Eh? Me? You want your pregnant wife to go and face those demons? Come on, Donald, now. Come on. Go and meet them. Tell them to pack their things and leave. See, it's not everything a man will be in the front. Eh? Sometimes a woman will go. Wait, wait, wait. Donald, eh? what, are you, what, 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 what are you talking about? I'm saying that, uh, equal, you know, equality. You are the man here. Oh. No, we are you talking are about equality here. here now. You need to go and tell no, them. Don't, okay, you no. know what? Go. I'll be here praying for you in spirit. You know what to do and you are sitting down. Plan B. Plan B will settle this whole thing. Deliverance is coming to your home today. Hey, what's going on here? Exactly what you're saying. Prophet has come to deliver you and your evil child. <laughs> this is madness. <laughs> Woman, keep quiet. Your daughter is demon possessed. She's a man in the spiritual realm. You are demonic. You are possessed too. You are a woman in the realm oh, of the spirit. This is your kozuna in the spirit. Can I have some quiet? Hey, Prophet, God. Now, the demon that is possessing your daughter is a very strong one uh, and she needs to be delivered. If I be a man of God, uh, I command you to kneel down. I'm sure so my thing. daddy does not know that you're a fake prophet. Shut up, you demonic child! Do not call my daughter a demon before I descend on you! Oh please, you know I will take that from you! Ritual. Will you shut up yourself? You're evil! You are evil too! You took 300,000 naira from my father. She's lying. And you, she gave you 100k to create all of this drama. She's lying. Okay. I can see the spirit of confusion in the air. Yes. I command you to kneel down. Ma, 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 ma. Shh, eh? Hold on. Did you hear? She's lying. Man of God. Did you by chance get any money? from my wife. Like I said, the atmosphere is charged for confession. Because Answer the question! Hours. Oh, nah. eh. It's a simple question. Did you receive any money from her? Honey, 
you, you, you know the pastor talk about spirit of confusion, right? That is what is happening now. That's why I want <laughs> to remove the confusion. Mm -hmm. So she, he can go ahead and answer me. Mm. Did you or did you not receive money from my wife? See, sir, I don't like this spirit to transfer into you yes. what you don't know about. Well, he goes fire, not my husband. Don't transfer into you what you don't know about. She had to be delivered <laughs> so that your family and your Man of God! Be... Yes. Did you take money from my wife? He never is to shout. Eh? Calm down. Eh, eh, eh. Is it not PG? He never is to shout. Calm down. Eh? Now smart in the vest native doctor. Oh, you are now a native doctor. No, that's not what I'm saying. But the thing is, see. Mm. Eh? Mm, what? Eh? Frida, I said I was scared to my bones. As a matter of fact, I am still very scared. I'm not joking. Like I managed to stay by her because she's my daughter if not and I know that she wouldn't hurt me like what we all saw was bigger than all of us that Donald and his mistress had to go and get a prophet to deliver her I've never seen anything like that before really? Frida I am confused no you don't have to be confused okay I will introduce you to someone okay how did you get to my house who are you my, my name is James. I'm a banker. Um, I was in a dream and uh, a small girl gave me the address of this place. A dream? Yeah, really a dream. It looks stupid, right? Mm -hmm. But the girl gave me the address of this place and said, my unborn child is here. <laughs> Your unborn child? This is so mysterious. I, I came here and I'm sort of lost and... Uh, I, I don't know. That's the girl. Oh. She's the one? The girl in that picture, yeah. <laughs> no, God, that's, that's the my girl. daughter. Honey, you want money from me. Jane! Jane! Ah. Ah. Jane! Oh. Jane. Why are you running? Nothing. <laughs> Jane! Do you know her? Who, who, who is he? Jane! Who are you? Do I, do I know you? You don't know me. Honey, I, I don't know the Jane! Name. Who are you now? Can you stop? Shut up. How did you know her? She's my girlfriend. Oh, please shut up! What nonsense <laughs> are you talking about? Jane! I don't want to hear a word from you. <laughs> Keep quiet. She's my girlfriend. <laughs> As a matter of fact, She's even pregnant for me. Stop it! She tried everything to get rid of the pregnancy. All of a sudden, she disappeared. Oh, please, shut up! Honey, <laughs> don't listen Jane, to this man. Jane, if I hear a word from you again, <laughs> keep quiet. Don't notice I knew it! Who are you now? Can you stop pretending? <laughs> you know, Blessing said that this pregnancy does not belong to me. Of course it doesn't belong to you. It's my pregnancy. <laughs> Jane. <laughs> Man, I don't know him. I don't know him from anywhere. She's my girlfriend. <laughs> she refused to marry me because she, she calls me a poor banker who cannot give her a luxury life. I knew she's a gold digger. Gold digger. Is that why you want to give my pregnancy to another man? I'm... Okay. Jane. Okay, fine. Fine. He's a poor, wretched banker. Is that why you should give my... Live with... How much do you expect me to live with you? How much is your salary? Can you take care of me? <laughs> what would 70000 do for me? <laughs> Stop. Don't touch me. You stink. <laughs> Go into that room. Pick every... No. Only the things you came into this house with. <laughs> if you call me my love again... You are still calling my husband your love! I will reset your brain. We are meant to be together. Can you stop? Let's go. Just stop, go in and get it. Shut up! <laughs> I said it. Madam, are, are you his wife? Uh, okay, sorry. You know when you came in, 
I did not ask what you think. Is it I have in salad soup or her? Drink. What should I bring? My, okay. Any any swallow. Okay. Thank you very any much. Look, I need to. Mind. I'm coming. I'm I don't coming. mind any swallow. I'm coming. Let me eat if I take my pregnancy home. <laughs> Your daughter was a male child. Why she wasn't a woman? But he was changed into a female by Chukuki Kabiyama because of the attitude that she was given to while in the womb. Think, how did you react on the fateful day your wife told you of the gender of the child? When she went to the hospital, Baby's healthy and in good position. But the doctor said they cannot reveal the sex of the baby yet. Okay. But that he suspects it's gonna be a girl. Why that look on your face? It had better be a boy. It's a girl, my own. I want a baby girl. It can't be a girl. It's actually a boy I put in there. The girl, the girl, I want, I want the girl. I'm not having this conversation. You see, Chiko Kike wanted to teach you people that the sex of a child comes from him. It doesn't come from your family lineage. He only decides the sex of a child. Your daughter is a special child. She is gifted. And she has so much to deliver to her world. She can't run away. She has a mantle on her head. And until she accepts and lays hands on you soon, you might not be able to conceive. And your husband might not be able to have his job back. She is an easy one. I present to you easy one. The beauty that radiates the sun. Easy one, Jimba. The goddess of prosperity and wealth. You may kneel so that the goddess of wealth can be a blessing upon your family. Go and bless your family. Akumani! Ototo! Gadam, gadam! Say after me. Say, it shall be well with you, Oneke. It shall be well with you on a key. It shall be well with you on Orie. It shall be well with you on Orie. It shall be well with you on Afo. It shall be well with you on Afo. And it shall be well with you on Uko. And it shall be well with you on Uko. Ise. Can you help me? <laughs> Gaga dada, Gaga dada. Oto ni ana sona bena the beauty that radiates the sun. So you know I'm actually going to win you, right? Yeah. I will. You will not. I will. You will not. Do I select your own thing? Everything is 
expensive. Um, we can afford it. It's only this, and it's for babies. Why did you remove it? It's it's only that, and it's for babies. Maybe we should play chess. Okay, chess, yeah, then. It works like this. Oh, not no. the other way. <laughs> This must no, 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 this is a good it is capture. Oh, what happened to it? This captured it. Okay. You know I love you, right? Yes. More than your mom does. Yeah, sure. Quack, quack, quack. Quack, 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 quack. I'm going to play the phone one. Yeah. Now, this one, Superman. this one will look a little beautiful. Yeah. So, if you win me, I'll take you for swimming. Deal. And if you win me, if you if I win you, you will have to be grounded for a week. <laughs>